raspberry pie. Huh? No, not the pastry dummy. The computer. Oh. A small, capable little device that's perfect for learning hacking, programming, Linux, all sorts of awesome stuff. But how do you set one up? I mean, it doesn't come with instructions. It doesn't even have a box. It's just a motherboard with some components on it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up and customize your very own Raspberry Pi. So first things first, let's set up the hardware. Here's what you'll need to get started. So you'll need a micro SD card for the operating system, a micro USB cable or a dedicated power cable for power, and then an HDMI cable for display and a mouse and keyboard for input. So I'm using a Raspberry Pi Model 3 B Plus for this tutorial, and it has built-in Wi-Fi, so I don't need to plug in an Ethernet cable, although you might need to depending on your version. I also have an SD card reader on this Anchor USB-C hub for plugging into our Windows setup machine. So now it's time to pick our flavor of Linux and get it set up on the Raspberry Pi. All right, so I've put my micro SD card into my Windows machine to get everything set up. And the very first thing we need to do is go get the Raspberry Pi Image Manager, which is a nice little tool um, that was created to be able to easily put the Raspberry Pi OS onto our SD card. So it's going to be on the official we Raspberry Pi website, uh, raspberrypi.com slash software. And it is available for Windows, Mac, and obviously Linux. So we got the download for Windows. Okay, so first off, we're going to choose our OS. And there's a lot of different options for this, a lot of different flavors of Linux that we can put on um, the Raspberry Pi. We're just gonna go with the, uh, the Debian port, the first one, the Raspberry Pi OS. And then we're gonna choose our micro SD card, and this is gonna format the disk, completely clear it of any other data. So before we hit write, we're gonna set up what is called an unattended install. This will allow us to completely skip the initial setup whenever we boot into our Raspberry Pi. So we'll go into settings, I'm just going to set a username and password. I'll leave it at Zach. I'll put in my password I want to use. I'm going to configure my Wi-Fi. So we got our Wi-Fi set up. We've got our local settings. Eject media when finished. That's fine. And we'll hit save. And then we'll go ahead and write this to the micro SD card. All existing data will be erased. And we'll continue. And we will let it do its thing. Luckily, Raspberry Pi has made this process super simple, super easy. You used to have to download your own format uh, for the SD card, and then you used to have to download the OS as an ISO file and make sure it got written onto the SD card correctly, but this tool lets us do everything very easily. So write successful, now we'll be able to put the SD card in our Raspberry Pi. So now that we're set up, we'll go ahead and boot things up. And once we log into the Raspberry Pi OS, I'll show you a few tricks to customize the interface and layout of your device. All right, so the first thing we can do to change the look and feel of a Raspberry Pi, we'll go to the main menu, we'll go to preferences, and then we'll go down to appearance settings. So first off, we can change the picture, the background, the wallpaper. Um, this is default set to clouds, but we can go in here and there's a few default ones we can choose from, switch it to Canyon. We can also upload our own images and use those as our background. We can change the text color of the, uh, of the icons on the desktop. That turned to a darker, uh, darker color. We can show or remove the wastebasket and any external disks that might be plugged in. And we can also have a little folder for our documents to show up. So for the taskbar, we can have it be on the top or we can have it be on the bottom. Again, we can change the color of the taskbar itself. I'm gonna change it to a yellow. And we can change the text color. I think black is good with the yellow behind it. We can change the size of the taskbar as well. And then finally, we can set the fonts for, for the Raspberry Pi as a whole for any application running on it. Make some weird font, let's see. Ooh, I can't even read that. Perfect. Ah, just what we wanted. We can change the text color. Oh boy, what have I done? <laughs> let's switch that back to a serif. So we can change the highlight color, we can change the highlight text color. We can make the mouse cur cursor bigger or smaller, but we have to reboot to be able to do that. Okay, and once, we're, once we're, we're set with all of our changes, we'll just hit okay. So there you go, that's how to set up your very own Raspberry Pi. 
So go, go learn some hacking or build a project in Python or something. So if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below and I'll do my best to respond. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like and the subscribe button. It helps out the channel and I greatly appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.